The overall goal of this experiment is to seed vascular implants with autologous blood-derived endothelial progenitor cells, then observe the effect of this treatment on thrombosis in a large animal model. This is achieved by obtaining a peripheral blood sample from swine to isolate late outgrowth porcine endothelial progenitor cells. Next, an implantable device, a titanium tube in our proof of principle study, is seeded with the autologous EPCs. The device is then implanted into the pig's inferior vena cava. Results show there is protection against thrombosis based on patency of the EPC seeded titanium tube as opposed to the control and occluded bare metal tube. Duke Surgery is committed to fostering groundbreaking innovative research. The following presentation is one example of how we work across departments and disciplines to advance medicine. Dr. Ofdek has been leading a research effort to develop a cell seeding technology that will prevent thrombosis by lining the blood contacting surface of vascular devices with patients' own progenitor cells. Since these cells have been derived from the same patients that will receive the implant, we avoid rejection by the immune system. Our success and the methods described herein are the results of a large team effort. The surgical implantation will be demonstrated by Sean Gage from the section of vascular surgery, Whitney Lane, a Duke medical student, and myself. I would now like to introduce Alexandra Jansen, a PhD student from the Department of Biomedical Engineering, who will take us through the cell seeding process in detail. I will demonstrate how to seed titanium tubes with blood-derived endothelial progenitor cells just prior to implantation into a pig model. This method serves as proof of concept.